Hello and welcome to Go With The Heat. I'm Dominic. And I'm John. I'm Melissa. And this is your cultural guide to the phenomenon that was Miami Vice. This week, we're wishing you all a happy Thanksgiving. Not a normal episode of Go With The Heat this week. It's the American Thanksgiving holiday this weekend. And we, we decided instead of sitting down and producing this show, you know what? We will take a moment to say thanks to everyone and everything Miami Vice related this year. And have a short show this week and then move on to our regularly scheduled program next week after the holidays. So we just wanted to say thanks and thanks to everyone and show what we are thankful for. So we're going to run down a short list here of what we're thankful for from Miami Vice. But as normal, before we get started, we can check in and see what's going on in each other's lives. And it is Thanksgiving. And I wanted to start off with our household, Melissa. (laughs) We have something in common with Tubbs. Yes, we do. We have a vegetarian Thanksgiving. Well, a vegetarian slash vegan, actually, mostly vegan <laughs> Thanksgiving. One squeeze is in there and everything else has got to be vegan. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> we're, we're a house steeped in Thanksgiving tradition, except for the turkey. Yes. No, no, no. No turkey. And Melissa, you well, are the first thing as it starts off is the parade. We have to watch the parade. I forced the kids to like the parade, and now they do. And now I'm like, good. I finally get my thing. Now I love, I love the parade. I do. <laughs> you clockwork orange them into, yeah. into the parade. <laughs> I, I can't. I, I try and watch the parade every year. I make it about five minutes, hoping that one of the balloons escapes and just goes rogue down the street. <laughs> and, and then eventually, I get bored and I find something else. Usually, football is on, or at least a show talking about football that will be on. <laughs> Well, luckily, we don't watch football anymore, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, see, my Thanksgiving goes much more like probably, I would say, either Crockett or Castillo. Probably more Crockett because I don't eat Thai food on it. (laughs) And that's all he eats is Thai food. We know. But yes, I I have a, a fewer obligations, and so I normally get turkey from work that I basically have to figure out who I can trick to cook it for me. <laughs> this year, it will be our mother. In, in previous years, it's been our dad, co-workers, but you know. <laughs> this just, guy off the street <laughs> I picked up. <laughs> Someone cooking me turkey so I can make sandwiches the next day. <laughs> Note to self, don't answer texts from John two days leading up to Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, one of my favorite thanksgiving traditions is of course the turkey day marathon from mystery science theater 3000 the greatest show and turkey day marathon to ever exist it did get our son into mystery science theater yes yes and i encourage everyone to skip football skip everything else (laughs) even the parade no on thanksgiving (laughs) day and just put on the turkey day marathon it's on youtube so you don't have to pay for it it's true for free (laughs) Well, let's let's go talk about what we're thankful for from Miami Vice so far this year in 2017. You know, we've done 71 episodes of Miami Vice, and the show's been in existence about 18 months. So actually, 2017 comprises almost all of our episodes. So we got a lot to be thankful for so far this year. Okay, I'm going to say this right out of the gate. I am very thankful for Don Johnson finding his way back into the movies. Me too. (laughs) Even if it is a Vince Vaughn movie. Hey, you can let him off the hook. He was in a movie. (laughs) I am also very, very thankful for how Larry's send-off went in season three. I was going into that episode shaking in my boots. Not sure how that was going to be handled. And you know what? As you listen to the episode, we all feel like they did a pretty good job with it. Yes. Thank you that we had to lose him. (laughs) (laughs) I think I'm with Dom. I'm thankful that we lost a character that having to lose a character, we lost him in a very honorable way. Yeah. And in Uh, exchange, we're also getting deeper stories with Stan. That is true. He's He's there. Okay. (laughs) I hope they get him a new buddy for the for the van scene, <laughs> or like like a mannequin or a something keep him company. A radio. <laughs> it's not looking good, guys. It's not looking good. <laughs> you know, they can't get him like a dog. <laughs> yeah, no, that would actually be funny, like a canine partner. Yeah. Or a monkey. Didn't Clint Eastwood do one with an orangutan one time? Yep. I'm sure your guy's dad watched that movie. 
<laughs> I know. They should combine all of the 80s re- re- references together. He should get a, a young kid, a robot, <laughs> an orangutan, a dog. Uh, he yeah, should no. get all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can say that we're all also thankful for learning all about the game of Hialeah and also being able to pronounce it correctly. <laughs> they even put a real highlight player in the episode we all knew who he was right off the bat too <laughs> could spot him i'm gonna say i am not thankful for this i've been losing i've been betting on highlight every weekend <laughs> and i've been losing my shirt because i don't um, understand how it works <laughs> I, I had a system i had a system just doesn't work <laughs> the only thing i didn't like about that episode is that no one yelled duck <laughs> I do want to say I am thankful for Dick Wolf. I know going from Michael Mann, I was kind of scared which direction Vice was going to go, but Dick Wolf has kept it good. And uh, no, not only is he, like the show not falling off, but it hasn't fallen off music wise either. And that's what I was kind of scared of. I was like, Law and Order is not known for its music, so I was a little worried. <laughs> my, well, my, my, I mean. <laughs> my, and, and I do appreciate the break from constantly referencing Phil Collins. Thank you, Dick. <laughs> I'm starting to think he doesn't like Phil Collins. <laughs> yeah, I mean, something I don't know. going on there. <laughs> Why is he in need? <laughs> I'm also appreciative that Angry Tubbs is back. Thank you, Angry Tubbs. Mm-hmm. We missed you. He's not angry. He's <laughs> determined. <laughs> He was going to make it to the promised land, and it got ripped away from him. <laughs> That's what happens when Tub don't get me. He gets mad. Got to make sure you don't mess with him sometime between 4 a.m. and 6 a.m. <laughs> we can always be thankful that Vice will recognize holidays occasionally, including the spooky Miami Vice and the meat fondler. Thank you, meat fondler. <laughs> oh, always. Thank, thankful for the meat fondler episode just to be able to say meat fondler again and again on this podcast has made it so worth it you might say we're fond of it <laughs> hold on i'm gonna play the tiniest drum set <laughs> <laughs> well most of all pals we're most thankful for you now we i'm gonna, I'm gonna tell a little story and 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 be open up a little bit about this podcast we started this in may of 2016 and we never started this podcast with the idea that we would have thousands of subscribers and take ads or we don't want to do any of that stuff when it comes to like sponsorship or or guest spots or any of that stuff you know what we wanted to do we wanted to be three pals that would sit around talk about a great 80s tv show that we had never seen before and do what we can to make each other laugh and you know we have a ton of fun doing that and it just so happens that we put it out on the internet so that other people can come listen to it and we're really thankful that there are other people out there that love listening to our show they send us feedback and then we're really just really thankful for the people out there that love Miami Vice. They like to listen to our show and they make time for us every week. As everyone's busy schedules and and everything that's going on in the world, they still find an hour a week where they can sit down and have mm-hmm. some fun with us. And I'm really appreciative that there's some people out there. It doesn't matter how many it is. It just matters to me that there's some people out there that do enjoy listening to us talk about Miami Vice. And I appreciate that. All three of us can get together w- once a week and do what we can to make each other laugh. <laughs> <laughs> we do do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you to any, everyone out there who, who who takes a little time to listen to us uh, joke around about meat fondlers and Tubbs' uh, <laughs> poor music career. And listen to us argue about who's the better cop. <laughs> <laughs> True. Oh, no one's arguing about that. We all know she's better than... <laughs> So that is going to do it for us this week, pals. We really, really want to hear from you. Email us, goWithTheHeat at gmail.com. Tweet at us, at GoWithTheHeat. Let us know what are your favorite moments so far in the episodes we've watched from Miami Vice, and what are your favorite moments from the Go With The Heat podcast? We would love to hear from you. Email us, goWithTheHeat at gmail.com, or tweet at us, at GoWithTheHeat. You can come hang out with us on Facebook, too, facebook.com slash GoWithTheHeat. You know what? Anywhere out there, pretty much, you can find us at blah 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 blah, slash go with the heat that's pretty much where you can find us everywhere (laughs) we have so much fun recording this and talking about miami vice so much fun learning about the show and the actors and the music and the fashion and the cars there's so much 
that we were unprepared for when we started this pod, this little old podcast, this indie farm organically grown and curated <laughs> podcast. Non-GMO. <laughs> we would like to experience that with you. Please contact us. Email us go with the heat at gmail.com or tweet at us at go with the heat. This is also a perfect weekend to introduce the show to one of your friends. Hey, you know what? Someone out there might really enjoy the show. They can spend the long weekend catching up on all of our 71 back episodes. Also, go to your podcatcher or app of choice, and we'd love to see a review from you. Please leave us a review. It helps people find the show. It'll help us out. Think of it as a holiday gift to us (laughs) at Go With The Heat to go leave us a review. We really hope you enjoyed this episode. We wish you the happiest and healthiest Thanksgiving, and we'll see you all next time. Bye, pal.